Hey everybody, and welcome to you know, the second part of of, um, of, our, of our dog graphing graphing a tutorial. Um, well, well, a dog graphing tutorial because I'm using this as as example. Um, so this is where we left the last time, just just uh, a picture and a few, and a few simple lines to get you started. Um, so in today's video, I'm planning on just as to uh, the facial features finished at minimum, but considering how many lines there are, uh, we actually might be able to do more than that. Uh, so, so to begin with, uh, uh, we can pick, pick off from the, from the nose here. So it's a triangle shape and, and we can, and one way you can draw a triangle. Um, well, this is the way that I found more, most convenient, unless you can come with it with an implicit equation that can, can draw a triangle. Uh, so you can start with with the start with the horizontal line. Uh, you can estimate where it is. Looks like it's at one, and uh, and then uh, you can start with. With uh, and then as for the bottom part, uh, well, it's true they can use two linear equation, but it but it'd be more effective if we use absolute value equation. And uh, you can just bring it up to uh, where you you uh, find fit. So you have to play around with these numbers. So it's, for me, it's zero point it's uh, zero point seven five or three fourths. So that's gonna and that's gonna go from point seven five. Y is less than one. And uh, and this one we can't use the same upper bounds. Otherwise, if we, if we do that, that it would simply give us that's uh, the entire line which we don't want. So we just put these values here. Is negative one fourth, and uh, it is as one fourth right here. Why is it why? No, just one. Uh, all right, mm -hmm. that's that's the way we can take a step back from how it's looking. Uh, as for a line that's coming out, so uh. So I see this as a combination of minus log and the regular parabola. Uh, so in this line is we can make the, we can actually make do with that because. Again, like we're not trying to follow this, follow this precisely. We, we just need need enough information to draw our own our own uh, animal. In this case, a dog, like uh, from scratch. So we just we move it down by three fourths, and this one. Well, we can perhaps make this. Tad bit wider, not impacting the log graph. We should have it impact the log graph. This is much closer to where we want it, um, and it's not. It's not going to be perfectly in. Um, but I'll just go with go with this value. This is this is close enough to zero for zero. Um, for, uh, for me, because otherwise we'll get really uh, funky decimals and uh, I'm a big fond of those. That's ending at 0 0.94. I'll be fine if I pick a one with it instead. Um, and then uh, we can just simply just reflect it over. Um,
So the way we reflected over, uh, first we can modify bounds like that. <clears throat> Modify the bounds by uh, using uh, by uh, by flipping the uh, inequality signs and making each of these values negative, um, and and then uh, we need to reflect this over. So I want to experiment a little bit with a few lines. Uh, what might look like. Okay, so we need to stop and think how close is this to the reflection? Is this an exact, an exact reflection? And looks like it is. So, so um, as, you, as you saw, like, if, if you watch um, uh, the follow-up video from the GOAT tutorial, um, you notice that, 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 that uh, there are some parts of the graph that don't uh, trace very nicely because uh, there, there was an off there was a um, there's an offset with the the reflection it, it wasn't is a uh, images aren't perfectly symmetric um but in a perfect world like we are in right now um these guys are uh, okay and for this graph right here and so we can start with the tongue we already have the essential features in uh, i just added tongue and just it's just for for a plus, um, and then with the tongue, we have a few graphs to choose from. We we can choose from an ellipse. We can also choose from a secant graph, an e to the x squared graph. In fact, I've I've decided on. On this on, on uh, this graph with a very interesting shape, it's like in, it's like in between like a, a rectangle and and an ellipse. So I'll show you what it is. X squared. Normally for a circle, you have x squared plus y squared. Two to one. But if you change the powers to that, you can get a rounded square. So I'm set up with this shape, and I just noticed that this that uh, this particular shape gives me the shape that I want. Uh, it was an accidental su success, so I'm gonna and um, and and I'd be happy if if a graph like this, if a line like this, if a shape like this landed. Um, on my lap. So, so, uh, so first I'm going to scale it down to. So this is a fourth power, so we should scale it down with that degree. And uh, we should also scale the y values down. Um. See, I'm trying to. I'm judging how much I'm liking this. Let's let's go with what happens. So a 0 0.218. I like this. Um, going so far so good. So so we're not actually tracing the graph. And as you add more lines, you'll notice that the picture there will interfere with your work. So, so, so you can adjust the opacity so you can see more of the, uh, the actual lines. Um, and just to, to wrap it up, um, so we can do something uh, fairly quickly here. Set the bounds from, say, 0 0.25 to 0 0.25. So I'll get that done and I'll see you next week.